Good afternoon. Real quick, I'm going to show you how my two-stage wrist-mounted flamethrower works. If you're not familiar, this is the second wrist-mounted flamethrower that I've made. I'll put a link to the first one in the description below. Stage one is the pilot light. Butane fuel is released with the mechanism shown here on the back of my hand. As my hand moves back, the fuel is released. It's then ignited with this button on the side of my hand. When I press it, a spark goes across this gap from a modified stun gun. After the first stage is lit, the second stage will release a pressurized stream of denatured alcohol. Denatured alcohol was chosen as the fuel because it's less corrosive than gasoline, kerosene, or something similar. The reason liquid fuel was used for the second stage was to improve the range of the flamethrower, however it's a lot more dangerous because of the possibility of spilling the fuel all over yourself. Our liquid fuel is stored in an aluminum water bottle which has been modified with a tire valve on the bottom and a solenoid valve on the top. The canister is then pressurized with an air compressor via the tire valve at the bottom, and the fuel is released by activating the solenoid valve by pressing the second button on the side of my hand. At this point, I plan on putting this project on the shelf, even though I've already started to build the parts to arm my other hand as well. I also wanted to point out that I won't be publishing detailed plans of any kind for this project, but I'm sure if you wanted to make your own, you can figure out how everything works based on what I've told you. Thank you so much for watching, keep building, and I will see you next time.